News Talk, they talk to the BBC. to Newsday and Babita Sharma in London. Our breaking story this hour, a powerful earthquake strikes central Mexico. At least 130 people are dead and many are feared to be trapped in the ruins. I don't know the extent of the damage. What I do know is that dozens of people are desperately removing rubble here because they believe someone is trapped. Some people have been found alive, but as the frantic search for survivors gathers pace, officials warn the death toll will rise. I'm Rico Hezon in Singapore, also in the program. President Trump warns the United Nations that rogue nations threaten world security. He attacks Iran as a murderous regime and denounces North Korea's nuclear ambitions. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Hurricane Maria strengthens as it sweeps west across the Caribbean. The Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico are facing a potentially catastrophic impact. Live from our studios in London and Singapore. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. It's 1 a.m. in London, 8 in the morning in Singapore, and 7 in the evening in Mexico, where a 7.1 magnitude earthquake has struck the center of the country, killing at least 130 people. In the capital, Mexico City, dozens of buildings have collapsed, with reports of many people trapped beneath the rubble. Rescue workers are digging through the wrecked buildings with picks, shovels and their bare hands. Thousands of people ran into the streets and millions have lost electricity when the quake struck in the afternoon. There was also extensive damage in the neighbouring states of Morelos and Pueblo. BBC Mundo's Juan Paulier is in Mexico City. He described what happened. This is the scene here in Mexico City just a few minutes after an earthquake of 6.8 magnitude struck the capital. I've been without signal on my phone since then, so I don't know the extent of the damage. What I do know is that dozens of people are desperately removing rubble here because they believe someone is trapped. Our correspondent James Cook has more now on the Mexico earthquake. Mexico City is one of the most densely packed places on Earth. More than 20 million people live in this metropolis. Any powerful earthquake here is especially devastating. The huge tremor struck around lunchtime, prompting panic. These mobile phone pictures show what appear to be columns of dust from collapsed buildings. Fires have been reported and people are being urged not to smoke because of the danger from gas leaks. And already, rescue work is underway. It's not clear how many people may be trapped. And this was not even the epicenter. Seismologists say that was 70 miles to the southeast in neighboring Puebla province. These distressing pictures appear to show buildings collapsing in the aftermath of the quake. Many people had fled into the streets, but not everyone. This damage happened on the anniversary of the devastating 1985 earthquake. This morning, many residents had taken part in an emergency drill preparing for exactly this event. Now, the 19th of September will be remembered in Mexico City for not one, but two disasters. James Cook, BBC News. Well, let's get more on this. David Leno is the Latin America editor for the Wall Street Journal and he joins me on the line now from Mexico City. Uh, David, just tell us where you were when the earthquake struck. I was actually on a tennis court. Um, I was with my 11-year-old son um, taking a tennis lesson with him when we heard the earthquake alarm go off. Um, within two or three seconds, the ground started shaking uh, pretty heavily. Now, I've lived in Mexico a long time and I've been through many, many earthquakes. 
But this one was a lot stronger. Um, we just had an 8.1 earthquake two weeks ago, but that was hundreds, hundreds of miles away off the coast of Mexico. This was 60 miles away in quite a shallow earthquake. So it really, really felt strong. What were your instincts at that point, David? Well, just protect my, my little boy and, and make sure we were, we were clear of anything that might fall. Uh, the light posts above the tennis courts were swinging so violently that I was concerned they were going to fall.